hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be preparing creamy rice pudding so this rice pudding can be eaten as a main meal or as a dessert depending on the portion you're having so for this recipe i'm using the short grain rice i prefer to use this because it's bigger in size and it tends to retain more flavor and to retain the shape as well and i've already washed the rice and I'm adding this into a boiling water. So I usually use this technique to kickstart the cooking process. So I'm not adding any dairy product yet. So the, the rice tends to cook quicker when you parboil it with, the, uh, with water. So after about 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to be adding uh, fresh milk. I'll also be adding granulated sugar. I stir this together, cover it, and leave it to continue to cook on medium heat so you have to avoid cooking it on high heat because the milk is going to boil over and mess up your um, your cooker so i've cooked this for about 20 minutes with after adding the milk and i'm grating a uh, fresh nutmeg i prefer to grate fresh nutmeg it adds well needed aroma to this rice pudding and i've uh, turned down the heat to its lowest and i'm adding egg yolk so i make sure the heat is well turned down because i don't want this egg yolk to scramble and as i add it i'm going to mix it very quickly again so that it doesn't scramble and what this egg yolk does is that it adds flavor it adds creaminess and it adds richness to this rice pudding and i'm going to take this creaminess to another level by adding double cream yes double cream after all it's creamy rice pudding so the double cream really takes this rice pudding to another level and i've turned down the heat and i'll leave it to simmer for another five to seven minutes and it shouldn't be mushy it should still have a bite to it but the creaminess is indescribable guys you can see how creamy this rice pudding looks and everything took less than an hour to prepare traditionally rice pudding is cooked in the oven for several hours but not this one it's so quick it's so creamy it's very flavorful so what i've done is that i've topped it with um my berry compote so this berry compote is sugar free uh, i'll put the recipe uh in the description box but you can use jam if you prefer i hope you enjoyed watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel bye